Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here. Today we're going to be talking about Metro Exodus, and today we actually have some good gaming news to bring you. I know, it is insane, we don't usually get that. But today we got the announcement that Metro Exodus has in fact gone gold, which means in the industry terms that it is complete and ready to start shipping. So they in fact have moved up the release date to a week earlier than it was originally supposed to launch. So not a delay here. We have a timetable actually being shortened, if you can believe it. I know it's it's astonishing. So now the new date for the release date of Metro Exodus is going to be February 15th, which is going to be just about two months from today. So that is good news if that's a game you've been looking forward to. I know a lot of people down in the comments on various videos have discussed that they are looking forward to that game, and I actually did a video way back about that several months ago discussing the fact that I am, in fact, also looking forward to Metro Exodus. I played the previous two games in the series, and I enjoyed them quite a bit. Now, if you don't know too much about Metro Exodus or the Metro series, let me just give you a real quick refresher course. I'm not going to go into too much depth today, but just a quick primer. The Metro series is a first-person shooter, which is based in post-apocalypse Russia. And you're going to be basically, it's tied, it, as the name implies, it is tied to the Metro system, sort of the underground railway system that you're going to be traveling along. And that is how the first two games in the series sort of manage their story. It's very linear, very narrative driven, but they both ha are very, very good as far as providing great atmosphere in the game. There's a lot of suspense. The enemies hit hard. They will come at you quick. Now the AI, the human AI in the game is not necessarily all that bright, but the creatures that you'll encounter in the game can be very difficult to deal with at times, and it is a challenging game, and it is very fun. It is very suspenseful. The game also has some light survival mechanics that are actually very integral to the gameplay itself, such as having to wear a gas mask and finding filters, not damaging your mask. If you find a, if you have a broken mask, you have to replace it quickly. Otherwise, you could suffocate outside because the air is contaminated. So that's just one aspect of the survival mechanics in the game, but it does add a layer of suspense to it because you have to keep moving quickly. You can't just dilly-dally. You have to be always on the move because you are wasting valuable air time as you just walk around and explore. Now we know in the new game it's going to be less of a corridor shooter like the first two games in the series and it's going to be more open world. Now it's not technically an open world game, the developers have come out and said that specifically, but it's going to be more connected open zones that you're going to be able to explore much bigger than the outdoor areas that we are used to in previous titles. Now. I know some people have wondered whether or not that's going to take away some of the atmosphere and the drama and some of the horror aspects of the game because you're not going to be in those confined tunnel spaces fighting enemies in the dark and that could be a bit of an issue but if you've played the previous two games you'll know that the outdoor areas can be just as dangerous just as intense as anything in the indoors it just has a different feel to it and i'm sure there still will be some interior areas to explore although the structure of the game in metro exodus is supposed to be a bit more open and a little bit less linear although it still is going to progress you on a linear story track so you're not necessarily going to be able to go back and forth between zones as you go i don't think i think what it's going to be is you're going to have large areas to explore as you progress through a linear story that at least is the that's at least what i'm picking up from what i've heard from the developers at this point so anyway, this is just a game that I'm really looking forward to and just wanted to bring you guys the news today that it, for the one of the only times you're ever going to hear, they actually are moving up the release date. There is no delay for this game. So if you've been looking forward to this game like I have, that's something that we can all be thankful for as we head into the new year. So anyway... I'm Coach Toolshed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I know a lot of you are excited for this game, as am I, so please let me know what other things you are looking forward to in this game, or maybe you don't care about this game at all. Maybe you've played the first two games and thinks it's a little bit too janky for you. Maybe you didn't dig the accents. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Anyway, please subscribe if you want to stay in tune with the channel headed forward, and as always, keep it turned to 11.